welcome. Our today's story is Arthur's teacher moves in. It was Friday afternoon and Arthur was relaxing. Well, no, Mr. Raven. All we can, Arthur said. Arthur, said Mom, I just heard about some bad news. The snow collapsed Mr. Ratburn's roof and he has nowhere to stay. Oh, too bad, Arthur said, his eyes glued on TV. I knew you'd feel that way, his mother said. So we invited him to stay here. Oh, okay, Arthur said, still watching TV. Stay here, Arthur ran after Mom. Mom, what did you... He was, what did you say? Arthur stammered. Arthur's teacher is going to stay here, sang D.W. Just until his roof is fixed, said Mom. Arthur couldn't believe it. Later that day, Arthur told Buster the news. It's too weird, Arthur said. My teacher in my house, walking on my carpet eating from my spoon and touching my stuff. Buster agreed, school is at school and home is at home because that is the way it's supposed to be. Exactly, Arthur said, but his parents didn't understand. It's just plain wrong, Arthur tried to explain. It goes again, nature. The poor man has nowhere else to go, said dad. He is going to stay here, said mom, and we are all going to make him feel welcome. Arthur tried to imagine Miss Ratburn staying at his house, but the picture in his head was too horrible. The next day, Arthur borrowed books from the brain and rushed home to put up new posters. What are you doing? asked E.W. You wouldn't understand, Arthur answered. Are you trying to make Mr. Ragboom think you are smarter than you really are? Go away, Arthur said. Then the doorbell rang. Arthur, D.W., called Mom. Come say hello. Hi, Mr. Radbit, said D.W. It's true. You torture kids. Here I am, Arthur cried. Welcome. Hello. Come in. Please take these up to your room, Arthur, said Dad. He's staying in Arthur's room, sang D.W. I put your sleeping bag in D.W.'s room, said Mom. Hey, no fair, said D.W. Mr. Ratburn saw the books on Arthur's table. Those are my favorite books. The whole world, Arthur said. Hmm, Mr. Edmund said, trigonometry for fun, the double helix and you, didn't you just borrow those from the brain, said D.W. I use my brain a lot, Arthur said quickly. Mr. Ropern said D.W., look what's under here. Arthur quickly leaned against the poster. I think I smell dad making a cake, he said. Cake, said D.W. She ran out the door. Cake, said Mr. Ratburn. He ran out too. Arthur sank onto his bed, relieved. Later, Arthur was watching the Bionic Bernie show. But when Mr. Ratburn came into the room, Arthur quickly changed the channel. You look different, Arthur said. I don't always dress for school, said Mr. Ratburn. Would you like to watch one of my videos? Mr. Ratburn asked Arthur. Of course, said Arthur. I love educational videos. A cartoon kangaroo appeared on the scene. Spooky poo, Arthur said. One of my favorite, said Mr. Ratburn. After Spooky Poo, Mr. Ratburn covered Arthur's history book with a handkerchief and waved his hand over it. When he pulled the handkerchief away, the book was gone. Shazam! No homework tonight. Wow, said Arthur. Can you teach me that? Sure, Mr. Ratburn said. 
for dessert they had brought out a huge cake i like it when mr ragburn stays with us said dw the kids are happy on monday morning arthur's friends all shook their heads can you imagine ragburn living with you said buster i bet arthur's ready to run away said francis hey arthur said buster you can't stay at my house until ragburn goes home it's not so bad said arthur he taught me a magic trick we had fun mr ragburn waved at arthur arthur waved back at lunch everyone was talking about the maths test i get a c minus buster said you beat me muffy said arthur got an a said francine it's not fair yeah we could all get a's if mr ratbun lived with us and our father made cake for him said muffy but i studied hard for the test arthur protested sure you did everyone said after school all of arthur's friends were busy want to watch some spooky boo arthur asked i don't think so said buster i don't want to get go get between you and your new friend want to go to the sugar bowl for some hot cocoa arthur asked francine and muffy francine shook her head sorry we're already going to the sugar bowl for some hot cocoa then the brain asked for his books back sure said arthur i'll bring them to your house no thanks please bring them to school said the brain teacher teacher's pet teacher's pet said pinky that means you arthur then he handed arthur a note from firm arthur walked home alone rat and ratchy pal was at the door to greet him it's great to go home said arthur and forget all about school mr ratbone was at the kitchen table eating cake oh said arthur hi he quickly left the room later arthur showed fans drawing to his parents and mr ratbone and blinky called me a teacher's pet arthur said maybe i should talk to everyone said mr ratbun no arthur said that will make it worse you know i wouldn't give you special treatment mr ratbun said and you have studied hard lately if you give me an f said arthur that will prove i'm not a teacher's pet soon they realize that they are wrong said mom not as soon as if he gave me an f said arthur Tuesday at lunch everyone may, made fun of Arthur teacher spat teacher spat said said blinky if cake gets you 1a will apple pie get you 2a said frances maybe with some vanilla ice cream on top said muffy arthur tried to laugh mr ratbun walked away arthur i won't be staying at your house anymore really arthur said arthur mr ratbun nodded i need to be closer to my house to supervise the work on my roof so fancy's parents have invited me to stay with them after that i'll be staying at blinky's house who knows said mr ratbun as he walked away i may also stay at muffy's house busters and ferns house too all the kids were thinking horrible thank you